I've always been inspired by nature. I've noticed that every time I travel in the wild, I'm somehow pushed out of my comfort zone. And this allows me to learn more about the world around and about myself. Last summer, I went hiking in the Russian taiga in the Ural Mountains. Even though the forests were filled with mosquitoes, bears and other surprises, this was an unforgettable trip. This time, I decided to lean into the winter season and explore the freezing taiga in the Perm region of Russia. Despite the extreme cold, this experience had a profound effect on me. I'm really glad that you're here to join me on this journey, so let's go! It's early morning and we've come to a snowmobile station. <laughs> Can you see how foggy it is? Everywhere. It's very cold. This is our transport for now. <laughs> We're gonna sit on this thing. Probably will be very cold. got one more kilometer on foot. I hope that you can hear me. <laughs> wow, <laughs> this was extreme. I have never been on a snowmobile for so long. We were on the road for like 20-25 minutes. <laughs> it was a bumpy road and it was extremely cold. And now we'll go uphill. One kilometer. We drove to the north of the Perm region to see the mountain called Palut. It is around 500 meters high and it's actually a lot easier to get there in winter. You can cross the river and get to the top by a snowmobile. So now we'll just walk uphill. It's even hard to breathe when it's so... Cold. <laughs> it feels like some knives are cutting through your throat. <sighs> That's crazy. But if you walk like this, it gets better. The trees are so beautiful and we are so tiny compared to these plants of taiga. You know that snowmobile driver, I think that he was joking with us. He could have just taken us to the top of the hill, but he just dropped us off in the middle of the road and he said, well, it's only one kilometer from here, just walk. And it's been all uphill, not very easy to walk. Yeah, I wish he could have taken us to the top of the hill, but at the same time we can appreciate the beauty of the nature here but it's really hard when it's so cold so quiet here wow really beautiful there is a legend that the Palud mountain was named after a mighty hero who lived here in ancient times and possessed incredible strength Nowadays, at the top of the mountain, there is nothing but a television tower and a weather station next to it. Honestly, it was really hard to film anything here because we were completely frozen. But luckily we could get inside the weather station for a couple of minutes to get a little warmer. And all our gear got frozen too.
Yeah, this was a lot of fun. All our cameras got frozen. I don't even know how people film in this snow and then in this freezing temperatures. We also called the snowmobile driver and he explained to us why he didn't take us to the top of the hill. It's because of some stones and he's afraid that those stones might break his vehicle. Yeah, that's why we had to walk here. And now we're walking back, but now it's easier because we are going downhill. My hand almost fell off because when I was taking pictures and videos, yeah, it's, it's really cold. Yeah, I should end my video because it starts, it starts freezing again. So see you, see you somewhere in the next place. Bye bye. Then we went across the Vishra river to check out another mountain called Vitlan. This is the mountain that we've just been to. And now we're gonna go up there somehow. Apparently there are two ways of how to get to the top of this mountain. First you can walk 3.5 kilometers. And the second way, it has to be shorter and very steep well we'll try to see how that looks and if it looks too scary i guess we'll just walk 3.5 kilometers but still it is very cold <laughs> i'm not looking forward to this but well i have to I have to challenge myself <sighs> yay we're here on top this is crazy I don't know. I I don't know why people do this. Why can't they just sit at home and eat New Year's food? Well, I could have done this, but somehow I came here. I guess we need to seek discomfort sometimes. I don't know how we're going to go back. Maybe we'll just take the longer route, but it will be not so steep because <laughs> the only option to go down is to slide which is not very safe. The view from the mountain was truly amazing. We could also see the Palud mountain from there. That's the place where we'd been just before that. It looked like a frozen wave. It was so magical. wrong with my camera <laughs> it's so the picture is so light but I love this place it's amazing a bit later we drove to a little town called Krasnovishersk to have lunch it turned out that this place used to be a branch of Gulag thousands of prisoners were sent to live here and they worked in this town Despite this dark history, the people I've met in this tiny town were surprisingly friendly. Then we went on to explore Cherdyn, which is an ancient capital of the Ural region. Here there is a monastery and many very old cathedrals. This one is called the Resurrection Cathedral and they're preparing for Christmas. I will show it to you. Look, next to the cathedral they even decorated snow. It's the first time I see something like this. And there, there is an old wooden church. Very interesting. The town is situated on seven hills and has some really pretty architectural monuments like an 18th century resurrection cathedral, a wooden church and lots of old low-rise houses. This church is very beautiful and the view here is just fantastic. It's next to the river and it 
overlooks the Taiga. Really beautiful and very secluded as well. And there is the moon. Today is full moon. Even though it's a small city, there are some modern uh, constructions here. I think it's like a park, but there are no people on the street. I don't know where all the people are. Of course, uh, it's the holiday season and in Russia everyone has seven days off. Maybe that's why there is no one on the street, but it's really weird. But still, it's a very nice looking little town. I like these historical buildings. And in general, it looks really cute. You know, it's just dawned on me why the roads are so empty. It's all because it's like minus 37 degrees Celsius right now. And I guess all the people are just sitting at home. Because, well, <laughs> what would you do in this temperature outside? But we are still here. You know, I've really enjoyed exploring the Perm region in the winter. It was way too cold, but still, to be honest, I'm kind of proud of myself that I chose to seek discomfort and still managed to see these beautiful winter landscapes of the Ural Mountains. I also liked exploring the little towns we passed on the way. Seems like every place here has a unique history. Let me know if you'd ever like to come here in the winter. And thank you so much for supporting my channel. Have a great day. Bye.